Hey, this is Dr. Graves with uh, CSUN Geography Department. This is a video tutorial designed to help you learn to use the arc map to use kernel density smoothing and to use the zonal statistics tool. The point is to create an alternative version of a crime rate from the standard version and we'll uh, take a look and see if we can do both all at once. So what you see, I've already logged in to my CSUN software, and in this uh, version, I'm using um, Internet Explorer. And uh, so at this point, click Arc Map 10.7 to open it up. If you're using um, Google Chrome, you may have a slightly different interface. So click Cancel, click File, click Open, click This PC. Scroll up and down until you see the GOG Share Drive H. Double click. Double click on the Graves folder. Double click on the Forensic folder. Double click on the Zonal folder. For this demonstration, we'll be using the Zonal IC for Zonal in class. When the file opens, you will see that the focus of the map is the San Fernando Valley. This is this area here. Laid on the top layer is the violent crimes committed in the San Fernando Valley from 2010 to 2015. I will turn that off. Underneath, you see uh, the census tracts, uh, the San Fernando Valley, and then underneath that, uh, the city of Los Angeles outlined in a sort of purple. Um, and then the county of LA is uh, in the gray. And the first step that we are going to uh, do is to open uh, the toolbox, the ARC toolbox, uh, by clicking on the red toolbox icon at the top. My toolbox is already open. You should be able to see it. And um, the tool that we're looking for is from the spatial analyst tool and we're going to look in the density toolkit and we're going to click on kernel density double click that tool to open it most of you have already probably seen this so uh, follow along here the kernel density that we're looking to um, create is from the violent crime map. Note that the population field can be left at none. The output raster is important. It's trying to save to the H drive here, which is the university drive, the shared drive. You won't be able to save to that. So you should save to the desktop. This desktop, for those of you new to the VSL isn't the machine that you're working on, but instead your virtual machine. So you can um, navigate to uh, see users, and then you will find you. I'm SG402. You should be somebody different. And then you can um, save that to the desktop or to documents or wherever you would like. If you want to add a new uh, geo database, that's fine. And you can either save it um, as is, or if you want to try to establish a new database and call it something like um, Citrix Desktop Geo Database, you can save it in there. Either is fine. Uh, we're going to call this, though, San Fernando Valley VC for Violent Crime 2010-15 KDS for Kernel Density Smoothing. Save. The output cell size, we're going to leave that alone for right now because what we really want to do is to go set the environment, and that will change the output cell size a bit. The processing extent uh, is going to be the same as the San Fernando Valley census tracts. So select that because this, this data should only be for our uh, local census tracts. And then you can scroll down to uh, the raster analysis tool and mask 
just the San Fernando Valley census tracts. Now this isn't perfect, but we're going to do this anyway because it has, there's a certain logic to what I'm doing. So once you have that set, you should be able to click OK and the tool will begin running. And I'm back and that took um, about a minute for it to run. I'll turn on and off the, the violent crime points and you can begin to see um, how the densities of, of crime look on the map. We've done uh, change the properties of this on multiple occasions in terms of changing the symbology. You may want to change to um, a, a sort of a green to red uh, classification system. And I'm not that in, I don't really like the equal interval on this instance and so maybe you may want to change to quantile uh, but this is a cartography issue and you may uh, um, change it as you would like and you may customize the break values however you see fit I'm happy to uh, entertain a number of cartographic options so um, at this point you have uh, the San Fernando Valley's violent crime if for some reason it doesn't work for you, I have on the H drive for you to use a already prepared violent crime map that it will be work just fine for our purposes. So use either the one that you created or the one that I left for you. Okay, so what we're going to do from here, we're going to convert the raster map and we're going to move that data into the tracks so we can get a sort of uh, crime rate per tract uh, using the raster data. So how do you do that? You have to use uh, the zonal statistics tool which is down here towards uh, the bottom which is the zonal statistics as table. So uh, double click on that tool to open it up. The input raster is going to be is the uh, the San Fernando Valley census tracts and the zone field is going to be the uh, ID. The input value raster is going to be um, either one of these either your or uh, the my uh, older uh, San Fernando Valley uh, kernel density for violent crime and then the output table uh, once again um, put that in your on your desktop so that will be um, for me C users SG uh, 004 desktop and there it is um, so um, I'm going to call that uh, San Fernando Valley KDS table and click Save. And what are the statistics we want? You can select all, but um, really what we want to do is just get the mean. So I'm going to select that. That's the average of the uh, raster pixel value for each of those areas under consideration. Click OK and the tool should run. I see it down here in the bottom. And boom, just like that. It's available. It's pretty quick. And so then the last uh, step in this process is to uh, join, uh, do a table join uh, between our track map and our newly created table. So um, this is still stuck on the old one, uh, the spatial layer, so we want a table join. And uh, we're going to join uh, ID, because that's the track ID, to the not, uh, I have already a second one of these in mine, so we want the San Fernando Valley KDS table and it, it um, should recognize ID once again. And we'll just leave it at keep, um, keep all tables, click OK, 
and there's the nag screen say yes to index it boom it's already joined so now the last thing we're going to do is to right click here on the San Fernando Valley census tract um, go ahead and export this so you have a copy over once again to um, your C drive and you can stick it in your um, you know in in your geodatabase if you want if you're not you have to make sure you're saving it as a, a shape file and then I'm going to put this down as San Fernando Valley um, uh, violent crime rate um, and uh, zonal uh, what should KDS um, zonal statistics something like that click save okay do we want to add it as another map layer yes and so um, the last thing we're going to do is then uh, bring up the properties window change it to quantities and we should have a brand new mean at the bottom click OK let's change that to something like seven classes classify it by um, quantile and click OK um, let's flip the symbology so that blue is is safe and um, it's all okay oh. no matter how you do this so then I'm gonna click apply and okay and there we have a crime rate uh, map based upon if I, I need to switch this to layers so it is really taking this kernel density smoothing map and converting it into a tracked map we can see um, clustering and these vector units the census tracts and over here where there wasn't a lot of violent crime because this was actually if you remember outside the city of Los Angeles you can see these very uh, extremely low um, crime rates now the last bit of this that I'm going to point you to is you can go ahead and add one other layer if you feel like it so this is on that H drive under graves forensic zonal there's one called San Fernando Valley tracks violent crime rate layer so add that and this is what you would have gotten if you created a violent crime rate the way that we did it early in the semester so there is a a difference between the crime rate showing as um, adapted from the zonal statistic tool and one um, measured in the the standard way that we've been doing it you can see that they're close but they're not exact and uh, the zonal statistics um, and the kernel density smoothing have a different logic that will help us count uh, crimes that occur say on one side of the street that may be in one census tract it allows them to sort of spill across the street and be counted basically um, even if they happen on the wrong side of a border now this is your in-class assignment for the homework what you're going to do is open the zonal homework for the homework what you're going to do is repeat the process that you've done in the in-class environment but it's a little simpler because we're using just homicides many fewer and you are going to use as your for your processing extent and your you know the extent of your raster analysis what you're going to use is the LA city boundary and then you're going to join it rather than to census tracks you're going to join it to the zip codes that should be fine
uh, contact me if you have any trouble.